This video is part of the process optimization use case series, where we'll focus on different techniques to identify process inefficiencies, non-conforming activities, and improvement opportunities. Most workflows provide the opportunity for employee, customer, citizen, business partner to reopen a piece of work after it has been closed if they're not satisfied with the response or if there's further action that's required. Regardless of the reason why the piece of work is reopened, this is probably not the optimal experience for the given stakeholder, which will impact our satisfaction metrics. And the fact that we didn't get it right the first time will also have a productivity impact. All of this reopened work though, it's, it's valuable feedback and should be used to identify coaching opportunities, process improvements, or content quality updates whether that be to our standard operating procedures, run books, or knowledge articles. Process optimization, or ServiceNow's in-platform process mining, can be used to help us analyze reopen work to isolate these opportunities. We're just going to go through a quick demo now of, of one of the ways in which you can start to do this analysis. And we'll be using incident data here today, but the same sort of technique can be used across different workflows, with customer service cases or with HR cases, let's say, for example. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to come over here to our model options section. And what you're going to notice is that I've got my bottleneck analysis op option here. And what bottleneck analysis allows me to do is look at the different transitions within, within a given workflow to help me identify opportunities. For reopened work, we're going to be looking for things that are going from resolved to in progress. So I can simply search for resolved. I'll see for this transition from resolved to in progress, I had 482 incidents that took this trip at least once. On average, just that section of the process or workflow took about a day. But probably the most important metric here to me is this one here, the total duration. And I've got one year of productivity or total duration packaged up in just these 482 tickets taking or incidents taking this trip between resolved and work in progress. And that's a, it's a lot of productivity that I'd like to reclaim a little bit of. So I'm going to simply isolate these 482 incidents by clicking here. And this is going to narrow down my map and I can start to see my 482 incidents that are going from resolved in progress if I wanted to do some additional analysis on this and just look at the total occurrences, unique occurrences, but specifically use the histogram to help me understand whether there's any outliers that are skewing these duration numbers in any way, shape, or form. In this case, there's not. I could do that just like this. The next piece here that I'm going to use, I'm going to use my breakdowns to further narrow down this data. Now, one of the things that um, reopened work is good for is identifying training opportunities or coaching opportunities inside of the organization. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just say, hey, let's break this down or these 482 instances down by the assignment group. And what I can see is that the majority of these or a good portion of these reopened incidents were um, worked by this Solana customer service support group, 200 out of the 482. So let's focus in on those. I could simply select this, hit apply. And then now that I've narrowed down the workflow, uh, the incidents or reopen incidents to just those worked by the Solana customer service group, I can come back here to the map and do some more digging. Maybe I wanna start looking at the unstructured data inside of these 200 uh, tickets or 200 incidents. So I can use our cluster analysis capability to say, hey, let's look at what's going on here. And I can see that I have a large cluster of these incidents that look like hardware issues. And I can use that category, 62% of them are hardware issues that are coming in. So I might have an opportunity there. And then I can see I have another cluster of things that are focused on account access uh, issues that have been reported. So again, using the unstructured data to help me narrow things down a little bit further, that's one way that we can start digging into the data. The other way that we could dig into the data is to come here and get to the records themselves. Again, one of the biggest value adds of being in the platform is be able to get down to the detailed records themselves. So on a single click, I can get to a list of those 200 incidents, but then I can use standard platform capability to take these 200 incidents in this list and turn them into an interactive dashboard to help me further identify opportunities to improve. And once I get this dashboard in front of me, 
I can start looking at the assigned to values for these 200 incidents. And I can see, let's go through these here. And I've got a large amount, probably this, this, this user here, my, my very generic uh, demo user 181, the majority of these 200 incidents were assigned to this person. And I can dig into them and see if there's any specific areas in which we could potentially help them. And I can see that a good portion of those tickets that were assigned to them that were reopened had to do with account access issues. So potentially there's an opportunity there for us to improve our knowledge articles, potentially a coaching opportunity for that individual specifically. Or, you know, the interesting thing here is account access issues, kind of helping somebody unlock their account is something that we could potentially deflect with the virtual agent. So a couple of different opportunities. One, we used process optimization to help us understand where there might be a coaching opportunity or a quality improvement opportunity to reduce the volume of incidents that are being reopened in this specific area. But it's also an opportunity for us potentially to provide a self-service option to completely deflect the incidents in the first place. So again, just another way in which we can use process optimization to help us identify inefficiencies and improvement opportunities in our organization. Appreciate your time. Happy mining.